Mm. Oh my God, Darlene, that's a good piece of pie. Great, let me show you how to make it. Today I'm making a German chocolate pie with a topping much like you put on a German chocolate cake. So let's get started. This is an 11 inch pie crust that I made several weeks ago. When I make pie crust, I'll make six to nine at a time and stack them with a sheet of wax paper between each one and put them in the freezer. We're going to pre-bake this pie shell from frozen. This prevents the pie shell from shrinking. Place it in a 425F preheated oven for 20 minutes. I'm removing the silicone pie weights and I'm going to put it back in the oven for about eight to nine minutes to complete baking. Back in we go. See you in eight minutes. Now the pie shell is done and we'll start making a chocolate filling for the pie. Here are the ingredients for the next step, which is cooking the chocolate filling. You'll find the ingredients listed in the description of this video. In a medium saucepan, put two-thirds cup of sugar, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, six tablespoons of cornstarch, and then mix this very well. Now I'm adding three cups of half and half that I've blended four egg yolks in, and we will cook this on a medium heat continuously stirring. Okay, this is looking good. It's thickened up and we're going to turn off the heat. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. I added three tablespoons of water to a half a tablespoon of gelatin. They call this blooming the gelatin. Then two packages of German sweet chocolate. That's a full eight ounces. Each package is only four ounces. The recipe says to melt the chocolate and butter in the microwave until smooth, but you can do this in the pot. It's what I've always done. Stir the chocolate until it melts and is blended very well along with the butter and the gelatin. Now add vanilla, about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. It doesn't have to be exact. Now you can see the filling is done and we poured it in the pie shell, smoothing it out. And I'm gonna put a piece of saran over the surface and press it down. This will prevent the skin from forming while chilling in the refrigerator and the saran will pull right off. Here are the ingredients for the German chocolate topping. Again, I've included this list in the description of this video. I'm going to make the topping for the German chocolate pie. Half a cup of sugar, two thirds cup of evaporated milk, one egg plus one egg yolk. I'm gonna take my whisk and whisk this very well. Over a medium heat, we'll add a quarter cup of cubed butter, small cubes. I'll heat this until the butter is melted. The butter is melted. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then cut the heat down to a slow simmer and cook for about two minutes more until the topping is thick. See the bubbles? It's starting to boil. We're going to let it go for the two minutes until thick. The topping is thickened. It's time to put in the pecans. This will put Cool it off a little bit, and then we're going to add the toasted coconut and give it a good stir. This is the same topping you put on a German chocolate cake. We're going to set this aside now and let it cool until our pie has cooled completely. Our pie has cooled. Now we're going to spread this German chocolate topping generously on top of the chocolate pie. 
Put it back in the fridge and let it chill before serving. There you have it, a German chocolate pie. We hope you'll give it a try soon. If you like chocolate pie and German chocolate cake, you're going to love this. My husband sure did, and the first piece always goes to the cameraman. <laughs>